Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now, and today I'm gonna take you through .NET Core Minimal API. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So I'm using this .NET Core Minimal API for the very first time. So let's see how it goes. I nowadays we used to say .NET instead of .NET Core. So after .NET 6, so you will get this feature in .NET 6. So I have a .NET 6 already inside my system. You can check this by .NET hyphen hyphen version and I have this version a uh, 6.0.302 and after that I'm gonna use command .NET new web API. But this time I'm gonna use minimal in order to create minimal api with the uh, output directory project one okay and uh, it will take a uh, while if you are using this for the first time and then i'll switch to pro one and we'll open code there only okay and yeah here we go so you can see you will see now the minimal approach over here you will get only program.cs file over here where uh, you have only a few lines of code so i'm gonna write code from scratch okay and i'm gonna show you like the simplest way to create this thing as i gone through the doc i understood there are very less uh, lines of code are enough to get started with the minimal microservices okay so for that i'm gonna use app web application dot create okay this is my first line then i'll say app dot map and you can map to any rest api okay and then you will say slash comma arrow operator and here you will return something hello what sounds good then you will say app dot run here we go this is it so this is all we need to know in order to uh, get started with the minimal api and the command is to uh, use dot net watch in order to this will support hot reload feature okay and you don't need to worry about anything else and uh, for now i'll be using uh, this localhost http okay Oh, let me grab this let me open this thing here and here we go so hello world is there so this is the simplest approach and let me go through the code that uh, we have got okay we got there uh, so this is the code okay so this will support uh, the swagger so for that uh, we need to create a create builder you can get arguments from here um let me remove this yeah so we have swash buckle so inside here you can see uh we have uh this swash buckle dependency okay so that's we are using it here and then we'll we will build the project and then it will you check like uh, if the environment is in development then we'll use the swagger or uh, else we can't use the swagger okay like the way and this uh, normal with a forecast project where uh, you can write the normal things that's it so yeah in properties we have launch settings as usual we have application uh, setting development setting over here and normal setting over here that's it so of uh, if you guys are familiar with the uh, flask or fast api if you are from python family or if you are from uh let's say node express family you might be familiar with uh, this minimal approach to get started with uh, so like that they uh, have introduced uh, this thing and this is really very really cool and uh, the rest of the things are very similar like controller models entities you can create whatever you want but this thing i really enjoyed okay so let me run this code now and i need to hit the yes in order to run this thing and i'm gonna select this and i'm gonna use slash swagger hopefully it should work and uh, let me grab this thing or yeah 
we got it. So uh, I'm gonna, you can see that weather forecast schemas uh, you can get here once you write this thing with the name. Okay, so you will get this thing over here now uh, with the forecast. Okay, and uh, in here you can try it out, execute, and you will get your message or JSON over here. So, like the way uh, it will work. So, yeah, this is it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you so much for being with me, supporting me all the time. It's been a pleasure to be here. Please let me know inside the comment box what you want from my side. Definitely, I'll make it for you. Uh, and don't forget to smash that like button and if you really enjoyed uh, you can use this thanks button to contribute then so it will help us to grow channel continuously and thank you so much guys bye bye good day